geologists learn to visualize the way that this place looked in the past. Knowing how to read the texture of the rock, the kind of rock it is, the fossils that are in it, geologists can, it's like a detective story. You can uncover what this place looked like billions of years ago. This is now desert country, more than 300 miles inland. And yet, these shells, encased in solid rocks, are ocean fossils. In this one cliff, you can find fossil shells that look like you'd pick up on the seashore today. They die, they fall to the bottom of the seafloor, and they get trapped and die in the mud at the bottom of the ocean at the time that they're being deposited. Shells like these come from shallow tropical waters, an inland sea that first arrived here half a billion years ago and covered the flat, low-lying plain. Ancient fossils of sea animals tell geologists that this land was once under the waves of an inland ocean. But that leads to yet another mystery. The investigation needs to figure out why these undersea rocks are now high in the air, thousands of feet above sea level. It's surprising to go up a mile above sea level and you find a clam shell, or what looks like a clam shell, and you say, I, that's what I see when I go down to the ocean. So why is it here a mile above sea level? But that did not happen just once. Many different layers in the walls of the Grand Canyon tell Karlstrom that over hundreds of millions of years, this land has been submerged by the sea, not just once, but at least eight times. The last time this part of Arizona was under the sea was around 80 million years ago, 